Let's do it. I have an itch. I'm gonna scratch it. Look at that. Lovely. Nice to steer around him while breaking. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's the final lap. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I mean, two of them are there. Oh, I just realized. No, 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 no. Not gonna make it. No, come on, come back here. I can't remember what the end of the lap is, to be honest. I want to know when the whole raining thing starts. There's a little indicator there on the left, top left, that shows, like, obviously, you know, precipitation at zero percent and the time of day. Now, I've, I've had like the, the nighttime races where it becomes night while you go around because the, the time accelerated. But um, I've not had any wet races, or races that become wet, which would be great if you know. I'm assuming that happens when you get some of the like, like, endurance type races, which I'm sure there is somewhere. Uh, Gran Turismo has always had those crazy endurance races. I think GT5 had a 24 hour race. An actual 24 hour race. It had like 6 hour ones in it as well. I think it was a 12 hour. But there was like a Le Mans 24 hour race. Oh, any third. Oh, that's because I'm hungry. I can't concentrate. Ooh, DB9. I don't remember that being in the last race. Oh. Oh, I think I'm actually going to have a break. I think so. Yeah. Because I really do need to go to the shop. Because I, I really do want some chips. But I really also need to get rid of that cat stink. Because it's literally burning my nostrils. Um, I think that's why I have a bit of a cough at the moment. I think it's actually my lungs have been contaminated with cat stink. And cats always stink. Yep. I think that's going to have to happen. So, I'm sure there'll be more of this because I've gotten back into the old GT6 actually, mainly because I've now, COD Ghost has sort of finished its run, we're waiting for the next Call of Duty, which I'd like to play. I know I torture myself with it, but this year I'm not pre-ordering it, I'm not buying it until it's been out a little while. In fact, I'm, I'm even thinking about setting a rule where I don't buy Call of Duty this year until it's on eBay. Until there's a reasonable priced one. I mean, I might even just set myself a budget and say about £20. Until I can, I can get a Call of Duty um, Advanced Warfare for £20 or less. I might leave it. Um, it's just... It's, it's just, I mean, I've got still got Battlefield 4 up there, which I picked up for £15 in CEX. 15 quid for Battlefield 4. I mean, it's, this is a PS3 version. Um, I'm not sure how much the PS4 ones were, but they were in there. They were PS4 ones in there, and I don't think they were that much more expensive. But if you've got a PS3, you can pick up Battlefield 4, and there's, there's actually a lot of people playing. There's a lot of fun. I just can't fly the planes or helicopters though. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand what it is. I can't fly the helicopters or the planes. I mean, I can do it in um, uh, Grand Theft Auto, just about. But I don't understand the controls. In no. So I just I can drive and, and do the shooting. I, I like the shooting and the blowing up stuff. Shooting and blowing up. That's that's pretty much. Yeah, that's that's battlefield for me. Um, okay. 
And I've just noticed some random cables and I have no idea what they're plugged into. <laughs> so, yeah. I think, actually, I think this is going to be my game for the moment. Mind you, I've got some other stuff that I'm, I'm um, playing. Actually, I'm playing so many games at the moment because my, um, my PSN thing has run out. So, and I haven't bothered updating it at the moment because I've got other stuff to play. Um, I mean, PS, in, uh, well, yeah, the PS Plus thing is actually great in that if you keep, when you've got it, if you download everything, whether you fancy playing it at the moment, just download it because once you've got it, you can re-download it anytime you like. Even if you don't have your PS Plus for a bit, when you get your PS Plus back, you get the games back. And uh, even though they only have like, is it three, two or three games that are actually for the PS3 on each month, um, the stuff that's not there, you still get to keep. You still get to play it whenever you want to. Even like I say, even if you haven't had PS Plus for a bit, you're going, you're going up. You know, going, what was that? Eleven pound, I think it is. And then you've got another three months to sit and play all those games that you've got. That's why I don't delete them. Even I mean, you can delete them because you can just get them re down them again at the bottom of um on the PS uh, store. If you go right to the bottom, it says your downloads, stuff you've downloaded, and that stuff on the, the PS Plus stuff is still there. You can just re-download it whenever you feel like it. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, you get to keep some. I mean, you pay eleven pound for a, f yeah, for, for about three months, and you've got all that stuff there, just sitting there to play. Uh, there was a whole lot of stuff on mine I still haven't played, um, or just barely touched. Um, but I've got stuff that I can play, still sitting here. I mean, I, when I was in CEX, I got there's some uh, PS2 stuff. They're selling them for stupid prices now. I picked up one of the old Tiger Woods. Uh, not, not, I know not everyone's a big fan of them, but I think it was like 2005 uh, for the PS2. And it's uh, so much fun. It's a lot of fun. It was one of the better ones they did. The, the, the ones for the PS3 I found were just... I don't know, they messed around with the controls and it became really, I don't know, clunky. Um, mind you, the old ones weren't that great, but once you got used to them, um, but they're fun. Um, and I've got both the old, uh, the PSP. You know the, um, the, the Grand Theft Autos that released on the PSP? They did PS2 versions of them. Yes. Uh, was it Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories? They're literally, other than the old top-down ones, uh, GTA 1 and 2 in London. Um, they, they haven't played those. I mean, I had a little go at the original GTA years ago on the PS1. And to be honest, I just couldn't get into it. I just couldn't get into it back then. Um, that's why I was so glad when uh, GTA 3 turned up and it was like, ah, oh, a proper game, something I can play. Uh, <laughs> I should give them another go, actually, because I'll probably get into them now. Now I sort of, you know really got into the, the Grand Theft Auto lore and, the, and the, the, the attitude of it and the humour. I should probably give another go. Because I only really recently found out that a lot of the stuff we think of as being recent things were right back there in the first game. Apparently the original protagonists in the, the, the first game were female. They're female characters in there. Um, also, things like Vice City and San Andreas, uh, and all of these places were all in the first games, apparently. They were all there, right from the very beginning. So... I am interested now to go back and have a look. I mean, I've been watching some videos on YouTube, but some of them are a bit... Yeah. They sound awful. There's no commentary. <laughs> There's no explanation. Because the story is told, from what I can see, is... Is, is told entirely, 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 entirely by the use of um, the. Oh, I I'll do that again. Anyway, it's used. The, the, the story is told by um. Oh, what is it? Uh, the pager. The character has a pager. Says where he's got to go and what he's got to do next. Um. What story there is, as far as I can tell, um, which comes up. For a few seconds, there's a tiny bit of text and it goes away again. Which is something that Grand Theft Auto still, to this day, are really bad for. 
you'll have a little bit of text that will come up in like the top like left-hand corner of the screen that will explain um, what you've got to do. You know, if you press this button, you know, to do this, and it will come up once right at the very beginning of the game. But it will only tell you once when you have to do it the first time, and then it will never tell you again. And it always has a habit of coming up right when you're in the middle of doing something else, like in the middle of like in the middle of a car chase or a shootout or something. And this little bit of text will come up in the corner, in the top left-hand corner, for two seconds, and then go, and it will never come up again. And you're like, ah. that's why sometimes you can play for the whole of a Grand Theft Auto before you find out that you can actually do a certain type of move or there's something. Oh, if you just press this, that happens. You know, what really? Really? What? Why? What? what? It drives me nuts. That in, trust me, play it. You'll see. Top left hand corner, a little bit of tiny text will come up and say an vital thing that you need to be able to sort of make your life so much easier in the whole of this damn game. It will tell you just once for like a couple of seconds and then it's gone. And it will never tell you again. Okay. Uh, that rant's over. I am now done. I think. Let me have a look. I need to obviously do this race again. Um, I've got to figure out how I'm going to be. Oh, one. I can't remember what it was. Not one. It was the, the GTR, wasn't it? I think. Or. Oh no, what was it? What was it? What was it? There was something in the race. Um, oh, you get the DB9 was ahead of you and then it was the GTR. So I think sometime when you come back, I might have actually completed these races by the time I actually do another video. Um, or maybe I haven't. Or at the very least, I might have bought myself a GTR. Um, I've got over a million credits. I should have a lot more than that, but I blew an absolute fortune tuning a couple of cars. I had... Um, oh, what is that? The stupid little, there's a stupid little American pickup truck thing that I must have spent half a million credits just tuning to an inch of its life. It's got nitrous and everything. Um, and there was something else I tuned as well for no damn good reason, just because I got, I get a bit bored and you just blow some cash. Um, anyway, that's that done for now. I will see you in another series of videos in another time eventually and hopefully by then I would have removed the cat stink by either just clearing up the litter tray or throwing my cat in the washing machine he's not looking at me don't worry I won't actually throw my cat in the washing machine I won't I promise I will resist that particular urge because it's really tempting and you'd probably like it, you know. You know, bouncing around in the what in the machine. Whee! Okay, I think I've said enough now. I'm gonna go. Goodbye. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye.